Hello everyone, subscribe to the Hikikomori Archives. All ten of you. It's great to see a long time no see. This is Hikiko. I am testing out my brand new camera, trying to get what we call an object shot. <laughs> and I was talking with my friend, Wild Potato Industries, Malone, shout out. And uh, I brought up my Alone in the Dark. This is my original copy of Alone in the Dark, the grandfather of survival horror games. The mold? Is it the mold? The standard by which Resident Evil store stole its formula? Most other survival horror games stole its formula. So this is Alone in the Dark. Uh, and I believe this is by Infogroms. Uh, I picked this up for 25 cents. Back in my day, you could get a, a PC big box game for 25 cents a quarter. Well, that's what I did. I got it from uh, a flea market. There's a big flea market in Kansas City a long time ago and I got it. And I just love, uh, I don't collect too many big box PC games, but I have the survival horror greats. I have this, I have Harvester, the seventh guest. So yes, let's take a close look here. As close as we can, we'll autofocus. I'm still learning autofocus. Let's pull focus. That's not too bad, honestly. So yes, you can see here, I believe that's Carnby. Okay, you got your big haunted mansion. A virtual, I'll get it closer. A virtual adventure game inspired by the work of HP Lovecraft. Uh, most everything seems to be inspired by his work. Uh, Color Out of Space, most recent movie I saw inspired by Lovecraft. Um, you, as you can see, it is quite dusty. Uh, yeah. Watch this, little ASMR dusting up off the top there. But we're gonna do a little unboxing, maybe. See what's in here. We'll do one of these guys. Uh, cl a close pull, as they call it in the industry. A chilling 3D 4A into the macabre mansion of Dersetto. Dersetto. I just like that they use the word macabre. The story you're telling me, it's macabre. New Nightmare was my first foray, or was it One-Eyed Jack's Revenge or something? One-Eyed Jack's Revenge might have been my first foray into this series. Not the best one, uh, but I really enjoy New Nightmare anyway, so that's a big box PC. Let's open it up. That didn't sound too promising. It comes with a tiny little Alone in the Dark book with... I don't even know what that is on there. Eeh. Alone in the dark. And I guess this is like an inventory or something. It shows it's maybe it's like one of those copy protections. I think that's what it is. It's like, show me the two items on page 49. OK, and then you enter the bow and the bullets. A lot of LucasArts games had that going for it. <laughs> Pretty cool, though. Of course, it comes with all the Comes with all the floppy disks here. Disk one of four for old IBM. Oh, whatever that is. That's the same stuff. I, I don't even know that is that rubber band. Is that a melted rubber band? I'm afraid to rip it off. Um, I'm certainly not going to be sticking these into any floppy drives anytime soon. I don't even think I have them. I think I've officially gotten rid of all my older uh, Pentium like I had like a Pentium 2 <laughs> processor, got rid of that. One of my favorite parts of this though, is it comes with its own little newspaper, the Mystery Examiner. Let's get a full shot of that. The Mystery Examiner, tragedy in Louisiana. And then you can read the little headlines there. It's kind of a prequel story going on. So yeah, you got your little advertisements here and uh editorials you got a biography on hp lovecraft i can say that i miss games coming with instruction manuals but what i really miss is whenever they would create some original content like this just having a old yellowed newspaper in your old timey 
survival horror game just adds that another layer, that, that, that exterior layer to the enjoyment of the game. Uh, that's something that PC games excelled at back in the day. Got a little operation manual. <laughs> How to load a game. Are you guys ready for the system requirements? I'll read them off for you. An IBM PC AT or 100% compatible computer. <laughs> so you need at least a 286 um, or a 386 recommended. 640K of RAM. Wow. Uh, I think my computer can actually run this. DOS 3.1, five megabytes of hard disk space. <laughs> Sound Blaster cards, man, taking me back. And of course you got copyright or copy protection here. Main menu, how to choose a character, one of two. Uh, Carnby or Emily. I think it's Carnby or Eileen in the new Nightmare. And then it really just kind of details all the menus, how to do actions. It's a weird blend between one of those point and click adventures and uh, a little bit of an action game, but it's not fully in either in either category. So, and then we have a feedback card. Should I fill this out? Is Infogrom still around? I know some Russian company bought the Alone in the Dark IP. So maybe, maybe our f Russian friends out there might know a little bit more about that. Anyway, let's. Box it back up. Alone in the dark on PC. What do you think? Nice.